Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the fourth episode of the second season of Hamefura. And last episode, our main girl, Katarina, kind of got kidnapped. Although she kind of occasionally forgot that fact, but uh, yeah, there's definitely some conspiring going around here. Some, com some political stuff, some dark magic at foot. Like, there's a lot going on. And our, our gang, our, our heroes are trying to save Katarina, but uh, so far she is still in enemy clutches. And near the end of the episode, we did have our blonde, blonde blue-haired dude kind of pop up and be bad so i imagine we're gonna go in a bit of a negative direction now because i mean overall the kidnapping was not too bad you know she was treated pretty well maybe that, that'll probably change soon considering the flow of things but uh we'll see we'll see how things go so let's jump in hope that she can be rescued soon enough and go for the best three two one play. that is her name <laughs> Ask the important questions. Yeah, it's like kind of like that, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. He's definitely he's a bad guy. <laughs> it, looks, it, looks, it looks like such a comfy bed, though. I don't know if I've commented on the opening too much, but I do like it. Especially in that first segment. Like, up until you see the the title. Some good animation, some, some good stuff. And of course, the, the face palms in regards to Katarina. They, they give me life. Thank you, my, my loyal maid. <laughs> also, that is... I don't think I've commented on that before, but that is quite interesting. I'm not sure what I had what to make of that, meaning-wise. I guess it's just supposed to be like, we're just friends, we might technically be engaged or whatever, but really, we're just friends. Because that is kind of like a, you know, classic, like, friendship buddy handshake sort of thing, right? That's... That's the only thing I can really take of that. Make of that. Okay, yeah, you're way too close there, man. Yeah, that's too close, too. What is with these characters just getting too close to Katarina? Like, you stop it. It's a problem with her not having enough, you know, guard of her personal space. That's kind of always been an issue of hers. I had a friendly tea time with an attractive butler. Don't tell me it's that butler. <laughs> you have no idea what you're dealing with, this girl. So much for not being able to get away and go sleep. To... <laughs> you know, this actually could be kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, if he was an assassin and wanted to kill you, just... <laughs> I mean, I'm sure she is. <laughs> just start right out with it. She does not want to beat around the bush. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's in character. Last year, you mean last season? Yeah. <laughs> he italicized. Oh. Can we talk to your master? Just get rid of all the competition, just anyone that's inconvenient to your goal. Because who needs morals, you know?
that visual definitely got the point across. I mean... <laughs> nobody considers you a threat. I kind of forgot about him. Like he would be in the, in the race. Yeah, he is technically his brother, you know. Ooh. Well, I mean, he kind of answered our questions. I guess that was as good of a response as we could get. Doesn't really solve anything, but we got more information to work with now. But more importantly, food. <laughs> that was just so dramatic. Uh, no. I want more food. <laughs> This man, by the end of the day, is going to have a much better understanding of who she is as a person. <laughs> sort of. Like, half. The title was Tea Time with Attractive Butler. And I guess he's attractive. I mean, I'm not into dudes, so I can't say, but... Yeah, he was using really polite language before. But no, this is much more casual talk. It's so weird hearing him talk like this. Now, the shift is not as noticeable in the translation, but... It's like talking like a real person is just kind of weird. Huh? Well, now I guess that. A little bit. I mean, I'm sure I've heard, seen similar uh, backstories in other anime, so... So what is she gonna say? <laughs> Kakoi. That's that's what she came up with. <laughs> well, that's what she said. <laughs> okay, so that's why they translated it the way they did. I just does probably just doesn't does not respond to this. <laughs> I think well, I actually has tears in his eyes from that. I think he's gonna be a new hair member at this rate. Are we gonna go for oh no. My camera was misleading. I thought we were gonna go outside. But nah, can't give our prisoner too much freedom. Oh, we're we gonna talk about that. Okay, that sounds really sketchy. Yeah, he's not a naked mole rat. <laughs> How about your real one? What's the first thing you were ever called? <laughs> too close. Because you're too close. <laughs> I mean, if you say so. Oh, you got even closer. That was the opposite of what I wanted him to do. 
Personal space. Okay, yeah, this is definitely escalating too much. You need to you know, back, back up, sir. Uh, this is not okay. This is not the... the, the, the saved by the stomach. Seriously, Kathleen, you need to be a bit more, like, defensive. <sighs> like, I know she's kind of getting lost in those apparently very special eyes, but still. Ooh, I love the animation of the, yeah, the, the, the water on the window. So we're actually not only getting backstory on him, but an actual flashback to visualize it. Okay. Also, it looks even more like a girl has a child than he does as an adult. <laughs> yeah, he looks fancy. <laughs> really doesn't like a girl. <laughs> I didn't already know that was a boy. Soda. Okay, like Sky. <laughs> yeah, like Sky. <laughs> so. It's fine. I mean. <laughs> yeah, this is this is kind of cute. Like, I, I didn't want. I knew this episode was going to try to endear the character to me. I was resistant to it, but I, I, can't, I can't really fight against it anymore. Not with, not with seeing this. She is much more fancily dressed than he is. Don't we all? I mean, even back then he said that. <laughs> you are quite something. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I kind of wanted to give him a head pat too. Uh, of course, this happy story had to take a turn. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. Don't shake your head at me. Do something. You're a doctor, aren't you? Probably. Uh, uh more head pats. A much sadder head pat. <sighs> Can't have a sad scene without rain. That was a really cool shot, though. Oh, uh, we did not get away. Uh, probably have more to worry about now. Uh. <laughs> just seeing her face just really cheer you up just fork and spoon in hand that big old smile that's what Katarina <laughs> you, 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 don't know, you don't know the half of it yeah Chigao Sekai, Isekai, you know.
Yeah, we're all just people, you know, living, eating, talking. <laughs> love you, Katarina. I love you so much. Yeah, you'd be kidding. That's not probably not a thing here. Back to the different world talks concept. Ooh. I mean, it's like a gemstone. <laughs> How do you not fall in love with this girl? I, I don't think it's possible to avoid such a thing. Okay. Uh... Uh, uh, okay, I was, I was afraid he was gonna do that. I, I just, you need, you need to put, put on the brakes a bit. Uh, like, I don't blame you, but you can't be, can't be doing this. There's a lot of people that will not be happy about this. Me, me being one of them. I think she can. Uh, Oh my god, Katarina. Doc! Yeah, somebody needs a, needs a kid here to put a stop to this. I bet he could put his penis on her and she would still be like, What's going on here? Is this some kind of dark magic spell? <laughs> you really need some protection against that magic. Maybe some pepper spray. That is really very nice looking. Like, I kind of want one. Could you just stay away from her bed for five minutes? <laughs> okay, that's a little bit more guard. It's under a false assumption, but still. You behaving would definitely be a nice change of pace. <laughs> I don't like him touching her, but the face she made was adorable. <laughs> and our rescue squad has arrived. About time. Literally, literally everyone. <laughs> a lake adjustment. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well then. Uh, yeah, he was talking about that. <sighs> Hope he confesses the crime of kissing her on her neck. Definitely the worst of his offenses. <laughs> Katarina, Katarina. How can one girl be so precious? You guys better never let her get kidnapped again, okay? I don't care if you guys have to take turns watching over her. Okay. Elaborate? It's <laughs> like a ninja. Good question. Oh! Uh, <laughs> is that supposed to elaborate? <laughs> I, you're overestimating my memory. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so we did find her. <laughs> you 
Yeah, poor girl, just trying to be used to take the fall. Yeah, definitely no reason for you to feel bad. Yeah, he definitely does care about you. This is a good chance. I mean, that hug is very telling. <laughs> There you go. Ah, uh, I saw some blushing. <laughs> <coughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of engagements in this show. <laughs> I can't have too much premarital hugging and whatnot. <laughs> Very understandable. But definitely cause a misunderstanding. But yeah, looks like, looks like we're getting it resolved. <laughs> there. There it is. In words and everything. No, no room for misunderstandings now. I wouldn't say nothing. <laughs> she was well taken care of for the most part. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay, so they are going to find out about that. Yeah, that happens to her a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's not as bad as it could have been, but... I mean, if it was, that would have only been step one. Yeah, but, uh, you gotta protect her from other bugs, that's the thing. Uh. Mm hmm? Okay, I, I, I had a feeling he was gonna do that. Just in front of everyone. Uh. Okay, we're gonna have a brawl at the start of the next episode. They're just all gonna take, take turns kissing her. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Just... There's just too many people after this girl, let's... you just... And I know he's a special case because he's technically her fiancé, but still... In spite of that, I don't consider him to be any higher on the... On that, in, in that regard than anyone else as far as who wins Katarina. But yeah, as soon as he said that stuff about escalating, you just, I knew that where that was scene was going. And, uh, yeah, no preview, no stinger. We'll just come back the next episode and Gerald is dead on the floor. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the, uh, fourth episode of the second season of Jaime Fuda. And this, this was quite the episode. <laughs> where, where to begin? I mean, the title was about having, uh, tea with this supposedly attractive butler guy. And I had a feeling that would mean we would get to know a bit more about him, because it obviously, yeah, heavily implies some alone time, so...
because we had the girl selena i think her name was like she was obviously pretty prominent in the previous episode but she was kind of pushed aside at the end of the at the end of last episode so that kind of just leaves yeah these two to interact so it was a chance to learn a bit more about him right and before this episode I just kind of viewed him as a bad guy and i had a feeling they would try to change that perception throughout the course of the episode and i was i knew i was going to try to fight against it because i do hate that kind of when the show tries to manipulate me emotionally, you know, you know how show, sometimes shows will do that. They'll be like, "Haha, look at this really bad guy. Yeah, I bet you hate him, don't you? Don't you? Well, you shouldn't hate him because look at this reason. Like a lot of shows will, will do that. And there's good ways to do that and bad ways to do that. Like some, you know, it's not like it's an objectively bad thing, but just in general, I'm not a big fan of that concept, really. Just, just if a, if a character's bad, just let me hate him. Don't try to pull a rug, out, a rug out from under me because you think that makes good writing you know but anyway that's a bit of a tangent anyway uh, i knew the show would would yeah give me more to work give me more information on this guy and definitely got the job done you know gave me kind of like a new kind of lens to look at him through uh the story the background story actually getting the flashback the interactions with the one guy between him as a child and him i mean that's what really did it for me <laughs> like it's just some really precious interactions the head padding the just the one bit where he was like kind of trying to hide his embarrassment, you know, at that one scene. But uh, I think it was right before the head pat. But yeah, just uh, a lot of good stuff in the flashback. And of course, it took its its sad turn as as because of course it does, right? But uh, and yeah, well, we had that, and we also had him kind of falling for Katarina because that's kind of how the show goes, right? There's some attractive male character that starts to interact with Katarina. She, he notices what a wonderful, strange, quirky, silly, not typical for a noble girl kind of girl she is, right? The charms are worked are unintentionally worked on him, and he falls for her. It's a, it's a pretty common pattern that happens with uh, with Katarina. Not even just the guys, of course, girls as well. So just and anyone really, uh, just around her age, I guess. But yeah, he definitely was trying to make the moves on her, and as usual, Katarina just to a very harmful degree lack of self-awareness lag is very naive so you know even when he just approaches really slowly she just kind of stands there with a blank expression like what's going on is this what, what's happening I, is this is some kind of spell or something like what's i just i don't know i don't know things right that's kind of how katarina is so it's resulted in a couple things you know like a certain mark on her neck is, is the big one as he was trying to use some sort of sleep magic on her right I just, it was funny when she was re recounting that story to everyone else because I was wondering if they would find out because I figured they would but I wasn't quite sure how because you know obviously Katarina probably wouldn't like go out of her way to say it but once it was brought up because there was invisible proof that something went down and then she explained it of course she doesn't see it as, as much of a problem as everyone else in the room did so she explained it in her usual kind of way but we had all that and luckily we did have the rescue squad arrived and they did rescue her you know a little bit of damage was done obviously on the neck is, is the big one but it wasn't as bad as it could have been for sure you know we did stop before it escalated too much i mean so, so at one point her rumbling stomach is actually what would help the scene but yes we did rescue her and she still she, she also you know got a new friendship there which is something that katarina has always been really really good at making friends making more than friends or people that want to be more than friends rather right so and also we got ian and selena makeup right because that was a big thing last episode she wasn't sure how he felt about her there was a lot of stuff going on there and katarina was the one that really pushed her to be like why don't you talk to him why don't you actually ask him how he feels and then you'll know how he feels right and we actually got that even though it seems pretty obvious because of the hug but at, again yeah you just want to make it clear you want to hear the words right just nothing Nothing helps quite like having it put into a very solid, straightforward sentence about how you feel. That that goes a long way, even if it might seem simple. But we got that. That was a very lovely scene. I'm glad things are going well for them. And then we had Gerald kiss uh, kiss Katarina, right? And you might think I'm their fiance, or whatever. So there's nothing really wrong with that. But uh, there's still plenty of wrong with that. Because Katya did not, did not agree to that kiss, for one, for one thing. And secondly, he did it in front of, like, everyone else. Like, I think pretty much almost every other Hera member is there, right? I mean, we got a lot of shot looks on our faces. Just, I just want to get to the next episode, and he just has several stab marks all over his, his body. Like, a very specific number of stab marks, if you know what I mean. Because, you know, one for each, each person. 
Right. That's probably not going to happen, but I do I couldn't do kind of wish that would happen because he's just trying to steal like steal a step ahead of everyone else. Which again, he might feel entitled to because he's technically the fiance, but I don't value that very much. That's about as worth that's about it's worth about as much as the as the you know b b uh, words. The fiance thing between between Mary and uh, Alan, right? It's it's about the same level as that, so it's not really to be taken seriously. So, as a result, I'm considering it him unlawfully taking a step ahead of everyone else, and I hope he gets punished as a result of that, because that is that is not okay. Or at the very least, I want everyone else to take their turn as well, just so we can get back on like even footing, right? I'll, I'll take that as well, honestly. Just literally everyone taking turns, like pulling the person off in front of them. Because <laughs> that could be kind of funny in its own way. And then by the end of it, Katrina just standing there like, what the heck just happened? What, the, the past couple minutes, what, what what even happened? Like, is this real life? I just, was magic just put on me? I don't know. I, I think that'd be kind of funny, but it's probably also not going to happen. So, we'll see. We'll see what ends, what ends up happening next time. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good episode, I, I suppose, all things considered. <laughs> Jeez, we got to see a lot of the amazing Katarina cuteness, like, because I still love her as a character. She's still my favorite character in the show. Even though she's, you know, silly, naive, just lack of self-awareness, just those are just extra Moab, point, Moab points for the most part, so... You know, I can't really get too mad at her for some of the things she does if I all, if I at the same time consider the Moet points. So it's a bit of a complicated feeling as a as a result as a result of all that. If that makes any sense at all, it probably doesn't. So I'm gonna end off uh, end off the video here. So I think I got across everything I wanted to say. So uh, I guess we'll just uh, see how things go next time. So if you enjoyed this video, I do hope you click that like button, subscribe, comment, Patreon, you know, all that stuff. But uh, bye bye.